This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Second attempt of the PRS McCarty SE594 demo. If you haven't seen the last one, uh, I quite like the guitar, but there was a really troublesome fret, so there's no way I'm keeping a £1,000 guitar when it's got a fret that looks like it's been uh, fitted by a badger. Um, so I decided to return that guitar, which went back today, so hopefully I'll get a refund for that at some point. And I bought instead this one, which is the other colour option, from Peach. That looks a little bit more like it. Okay, I'm going to go weigh it, give it a play. This doesn't have the kind of see-through back like the other one, so you don't see how many parts this is in. General, the fretwork looks tidier. There's nothing that looks like it's been fitted by a badger. I think it feels possibly a little bit heavier than the other one, but still much lighter than the Les Paul. So I did say that I would try and get another one of these. So I bought this one from Peach Guitars. The, the first one, as you might have seen in the initial video, the third fret had been uh, installed by a badger and uh, looked like this. So I've sent that one back. Um, this is, the fretwork is perfect. The body and all of that stuff is great. Also, it looks like this is two pieces of maple, whereas the other one, there seem to be like three. Um, so that could be a, a positive potentially. It's a veneer top anyway, but underneath the veneer, uh, it seems like it's made of two pieces of maple. Um, the 
back bodies of these are mahogany and the necks are mahogany. Those seem to be made of, you know, a few pieces as well. That seems to be one of the areas that the SEs end up being a little bit cheaper for that reason. Um, the McCarty PRS is basic, based on sort of a collaboration with Ted McCarty, who is uh, quite a big deal in terms of guitar design. Um, and this is kind of Paul Reed Smith and Ted kind of got together and supposedly in the 80s sort of designed a guitar together and this was based on some of those things. Um, a bound neck, the scale length is shorter even than a Gibson, I think. Um, if you're wondering how this compares to the DGT, obviously you've got no trem, you've got PRS's own kind of special take on like a tunematic bridge. Um, other things, this neck is slightly thicker and slightly wider. And of course, this has these vintage style tuners, which are not the smoothest part of the guitar. I think if there's one area that feels a little bit, I mean, they're holding their tune, so that's perfectly fine. But when you're, uh, you know, tuning, they don't necessarily have the most uh, smooth feeling or anything. Fretwork, really good. Um, I think Peach do do a bit of work on these before they leave. Um, which is a, a good reason to buy from Peach, I reckon. Uh, so this has ended up in my hands, you know, feeling and playing very good, much closer in terms of quality to the experience that I had with the PRS. The other main thing that feels different is that you've got the taller frets, which I think make a real difference to how it feels to play the guitar. It's got a really kind of smooth, um, sort of floaty feeling playing it. I don't know, it's, you obviously you're gonna feel a bit less of the fretboard when you're playing it. Um, but aside from that, they just feel like two very high quality guitars. To be honest, I've kind of changed my mind on the PRS SE thing. Initially, I thought these are kind of just a little bit too expensive for guitars that are coming from this part of the world. But having played the DGT and now having played this one, I mean, you may find some QC issues which for me, I'm not shy if I've spent that amount of money on the guitar, just sending it straight back and saying that this isn't what I'd accept on a guitar. So whether that might be dodgy fretwork or, you know, some aspects of the guitar finishing flaws. If it's not perfect, I think it's okay to send it back if you're spending this much money on one of these guitars and they're supposed to go through in Europe two stages of QC, um, obviously at the factory and then PRS Guitars Europe actually apparently do their own inspection in the UK. Um, it's sort of set up more or less like a Les Paul, um, especially with this here and the four-way kind of pickup deal. Um, I'll try and show you some tones now. I think it's one of the more unique um, PRS designs as well. It's sort of its own thing. Uh, it feels quite compact to play. <laughs> moment we've got both of these coil split or tap Thank you. 
First impressions are good, it's kind of resonant, it's got a nice amount of sustain, um, it's very well made. One slight thing with these um, push pulls, I think just because of the grip of these um, and the sort of taper, not always super easy to get there quickly. Um, for me though, I think a really versatile guitar um, doesn't really seem to me like it's trying to be anything that it's not. And I think I, I really do appreciate the coil splits on, on these PRS guitars. I think some people do have sort of negative things to say about PRS pickups, but I think generally I find them to be consistent and um, sort of reliable and usable. Um, it's, yeah, they're not, you know, too mid-rangey, they're not too woolly, they're not necessarily too bright. Um, they seem to kind of just be in that sort of sweet spot i guess it could be considered sort of a little bit boring maybe but at least it's going to be able to do most jobs um i'll report back on this i, I want to do a prs kind of dgt versus 594 comparison but i think the main difference is thicker neck on this not as tall frets um slightly different tuners and of course the configuration here different pickups as well and then a big difference you don't have an, a trem uh shorter scale length as well than dgt which is 25 which is between gibson and fender this is ever so slightly shorter than a gibson even which is um yeah it does feel quite compact to play but feels quite refined i, I i'm digging it let me know your thoughts if you tried one uh, i did prefer the look of the other one to this but this is the only finish that's available in the uk now that doesn't have a, a a badger bit and fret um but let me know your thoughts cheers